You have a cook one half as good as our Rebecca. Here you are but a poor palace scribe, one who passes as a Persian at that. Are you a Jew, or have you become a Gentile? We are a small people, caught up in a vast and violent empire. We have capricious princes who could order our annihilation with a flick of a finger. And your presence in the palace might prevent it? Probably not. Look, tell me what I want to hear about. Tell me about the temple. Ah, what ecstasy to stand in the presence of the Almighty, like the intimate embrace of a husband and wife. It's so much deeper than mere mortal love. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> came to pass in the days of King Xerxes, who ruled over the empire of the Medes and Persians from Ethiopia to India, that in the third year of his reign, he decreed a season of feasting. Rumors of war were in the wind, however, and some thought this the king's way of stalling off a much debated decision to march on Greece in retaliation for his father's death four years before. Queen Vashti, your majesty. Enter. The night's festivities hold not your interest, you? It is long since you summoned me here. Have not been idle. Not idle. Not gifted either. Later, Hadassah. We will discuss this later. I have run out of laters. The caravan leaves tomorrow. Did not the priest even say it would be good for me? That he would look after me? You have so much of your mother and father in you, you know. And perhaps I'm just being a very selfish old man. Do you really want to go to Jerusalem? Truly. Then go with my blessing. <laughs> Thank you. Rebecca. Yes, well, I, I will be late coming back tonight. Uh, the uh, feasting has been extended. All Susa is invited. All of Susa? A drunken brawl is no place for a young lady of purity. Then why is a good Jew like you going? All the scribes have to go. There is war in the air. why the princes have asked you to extend the feast another night. You are too late if you seek me to deny them. Especially now, with such clamoring to march upon Greece and avenge my father's death. How long have you dreamt of molding Persia into a pillar of learning and culture? A flame to make even the greatness of Greece but a shadow. You know as well as I, this is not something that is won in battle, but in the hearts of men. You would have me do nothing then. You no warrior, no soldier. I'd have you stay. 
Enhance your kingdom. Preserve your throne. Looking for someone? I'm fine, thank you. You can run back to Rebecca now. Oh, I'm sure you're fine. Only tell me, Adasa, or whoever you are, how do you intend to get into the palace? You didn't come to take me back. Come. Or I should call you Adasa the Mouse. I appear to you by the gracious command of the great king of kings, the emperor of the world, Xerxes, son of Darius. but I fear I would soon have to send them out to conquer new vineyards for me. <laughs> <laughs> then let us drink to Queen Vashti, the most beautiful in the land. Yes, you. I demand Vashti appear here before. Already rumors circulate as to why the queen holds her own feast instead of attending yours. They sound riotous, my lord. They fear a divided kingdom. My lord, you know the queen's position on the wall. Send for her. Oh, they go to fetch the queen. She must be lovely. Reigning in a place such as this. None is more lovely than you. My queen. My thanks, fair prince. Prince? Why is it for years you uh, threatened to join the caravans to Jerusalem, yet you never do? What holds you back? Perhaps the courage to face it alone. What if you had someone to join you? The Herald returns! The Queen asks the King's forgiveness. She cannot leave her guests. I'm Queen, not a pawn, and I will not lower my dignity. Oh, shame my reign by wearing the royal crown before you're drunk and thinly veiled war council. What news of the Queen? Where is our Queen? Am I to be a mockery for my subjects? For Greece as well. Continue, cousin. Might not this deed of refusal travel abroad to all women, making their husbands contemptible in their eyes? Will not it be said by all Xerxes commanded his wife to come before him, but she came not? Vashti is guilty not only of disobedience to the crown, but against the protocol of our fathers. And tell me. What dictates the protocol? A royal edict must be issued and written into the laws of the land that Vashti... that Vashti come no more before the king, but that her royal position be given to a new queen, more worthy than her. My lord, what answer do I send the queen? 